Hey everyone, I'm JP and welcome to a brand new sales episode. In today's video, we'll check out some awesome deals that are currently live on the eShop and each game is less than $10. We're heading into a new month and the sales are once again ramping up as we get closer and closer to summer. With E3 canceled this year, I'm anxiously waiting to see what Nintendo has up its sleeve for directs or deals, especially in June and July, when we normally see deals rivaling that of Black Friday. If this happens to be your first time here, welcome and thanks for checking out the video. If you have a good time or we help you save a few dollars, please hit that red button down below to become part of the crew. We love welcoming in new people and we all share a mutual love for video games, so I'm sure you'll fit right in. And if you've been here before, welcome back my friends. Thanks as always for hanging out with us again today. I hope you all had a great month so far and let me know down below what games you're thinking about playing in the upcoming weeks or months or what games you're looking forward to. For me, I'm really excited for Shredder's Revenge. But yeah, let me know down below what you're excited for. And with all that said, let's go ahead and dive in and try to find some deals. As always, stay safe out there and please enjoy the video. Alright, we'll start today with As Divine Cross. This is a single player top down RPG with a retro aesthetic and it offers a main story that will last more than 20 hours to finish up with a download around 250 megabytes. The game has an amazing art and sound design throughout and the story is incredibly engaging. In fact, the ending is heavily dependent on how you interact with the other characters during the story and there's several different endings to see. There are a ton of armor and weapon upgrades and the game does a great job of helping keep you on track so you don't get too lost even if you put the game down for a little bit in between play sessions. The combat is standard turn based so keep that in mind but if you're interested in As Divine Cross make sure to grab it up before this sale ends on May 9th. It's marked down 40% to a new all time low of just $8.99. Next we have Collapsed. This is a single player action platformer from Over Games with a download size around 3GB and a main story that should last roughly 8-10 to 10 hours to wrap up. The game takes place in a post-apocalyptic world but the cause and why things are happening are left unclear at the start of the game. As you progress through blasting waves and waves of enemies the story starts to reveal itself and you'll learn everything. There are multiple playable characters to pick between with different play styles and it can make a big difference on how the game plays overall. There are also power ups and hidden secrets scattered everywhere as well and this is a great option. Right now you can pick it up until April 28th at a new all time low, 65% off for just $5.25. Death Road to Canada is an adventure road trip style game from Rocket Cat Games with a download size around 200 megabytes and it has a story mode that offers more than 15 hours of gameplay, mainly due to the difficulty and randomization of each run. The events, locations, and even the characters you meet are all random and the story is always changing. Now it can get overwhelming with tons of zombies chasing you down at one time, but each death gives you the chance to spend points and upgrade for your next run. Each of your decisions holds a lot of weight and alters the ending. Plus the game has local co-op for up to 4 players as well. If you're interested in Death Road to Canada, make sure to check it out before the sale ends. Again, it's marked down to a new all-time low until May 3rd. This time it's 60% off for just $5.99. Golden Force is an adventure style platformer with a gorgeous pixel art aesthetic and a charming story. It's available for 1-2 to two players in local co-op and should last roughly 3-4 to four hours to finish up with the download size around 1GB. The game features 4 playable characters, that old school level of difficulty, fantastic boss battles, and loads of secrets to find. You'll be able to explore all 4 worlds either solo or again with a friend in local co-op, which you know we love here at the channel. Now you'll take on the role of one or two of the elite golden force with promises of gold and epic battles. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out again before the sale ends on May 2nd. It's marked down 50% to just $9.99. Mighty Goose is a run and gun shooter for 1 to 2 players in local co-op and the game has a download size around 270 megabytes. Now the main campaign isn't too long, only lasting maybe a couple of hours, but there's tons of replayability so that shouldn't be an issue. The gameplay feels a lot like Metal Slug or a more cartoonish version of something like Hunt Down and just like with those two titles, the game is an absolute blast to play from start to finish. You have your main weapon, your secondary weapons, battle vehicles, and you can even find and collect different sidekick type companions to battle with you during the missions. The art and sound design are again top quality and if you're interested in Mighty Goose, make sure to pick it up before the sale ends on April 28th. It's marked down 50% to a new all time low of just $9.99. And we also have a spotlight video showing off the gameplay if you'd like to see it. Link will be down below in the pinned comment. Next up we have Portal Knights. This is a multiplayer RPG from 505 Games and offers roughly 30-40 to 40 hours of main story gameplay with a download size just under 5GB. 
Now this one is available for up to four players in both local and online play, and you'll have to prove yourself worthy of the title of Portal Knight by leveling up, crafting epic weapons, and defeating foes in real time. The game features some absolutely epic boss battles, a tactical combat system, randomly generated 3D sandbox style world, and even a crafting system that will allow players to build structures and create their own little towns and such from the materials you'll have, so gathering is of course a big part of the game. If you're interested in Portal Knights, make sure to check it out before the sale ends again on April 28th. Right now it's marked down 60% and matching an all-time low of just $7.99. Sword of the Necromancer is a single player retro RPG offering a main story that will last roughly 8 hours to complete and it has a download size around 1.2 gigabytes. The game is also available for 2 players in local co-op and this is basically a dungeon crawler with a top down view and the story revolves around a young heroine trying to restore the power to her magical sword in order to revive the person she loves. The game does have a bit of a Zelda vibe to it throwing us into dangerous dungeons full of enemies and bosses. But one really unique feature though, since your sword does have some magical power left, you're able to revive enemies that you've defeated and then they can join your party to fight alongside you. This is definitely a great game and I highly recommend it whenever it goes on sale. Right now you can pick it up until May 12th, mark down 60% to a brand new low of just $5.99. Viviette is a single player adventure style puzzle game from DYA Games offering roughly 4-5 to five hours of main story gameplay with a download size around 130 megabytes. In this one we explore a huge haunted mansion as we try to uncover the horrific secrets that are hidden within. You'll definitely have to use your brain for this one though as it's all about puzzle solving and exploration and the game doesn't hold your hand at all, in fact it doesn't even have a map. It's just you and your trusty lamp, which you can't use all the time because you're being chased and it will attract the monster that's creeping throughout the mansion. This one will definitely keep you on the edge of your seat and fans of explorative horror experiences should consider checking it out 100%. Right now you can pick it up until May 6th, it's marked down 50% matching an all time low of just $4.99. Rico is a first person arcade style shooter from Rising Star Games with a download size around 4.8 gigabytes, offering hours and hours of fast paced action available for two players in both online and local co-op. Now this is basically a buddy cop story and we play as the two members of the Rico task force doing what you'd expect, pursuing criminals and taking them out. You only have 24 hours to solve each case and they're all procedurally generated given tons of replayability. They have daily cases that act as daily challenges in a way and there are even online leaderboards if you're into that sort of thing. My good buddy Snowly Games here on YouTube, he and I did a dual stream of this not too long ago if you'd like to see some online gameplay before picking it up. But if you are interested in Rico, make sure to grab it up before the sale ends on April 28th. It's marked down 65%, matching an all time low of just $6.99. Next we have Jump King. This is a single player platformer from Yukio Publishing with a download size around 1.8 gigabytes and it offers roughly 10 to 20 hours of solid action. Now the game is incredibly difficult at times so please keep that in mind before you pick it up. The game does have a simple premise though and it does it perfectly. As you make your way higher and higher through each of the platforming challenges, the penalty for making a mistake becomes greater and greater. One wrong move and it's back to the start. The game can really get your heart racing and it auto saves on each fall, so you just have to press through, but that's part of the addiction to the game. If you're interested in a frustratingly fun platformer, make sure to check out Jump King before the sale ends on May 3rd. Right now it's marked down 50% and matching an all time low of just $6.49. Alright folks, and as always, here are some other games to check out while you're already on the eShop. Alright folks, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you as always for hanging out with us. You're legendary if you made it this far. 
please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you're interested in more videos, click right here for some more great content. Bye, everyone. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye.